and shareholders. we just want to mention the stock is uh, currently uh, trading at about forty-seven, forty-eight dollars a share. So we're seeing forty percent pop. Bump. Yeah, forty percent mm -hmm. bump here, right? Because uh, stock uh, wow. priced at thirty-four. So we are seeing uh, the stock just shoot up here. So up about forty percent. Again, forty-eight dollars and change here. Um, Ed, forgive me. Go ahead and pick up. No, no, redhead that. Somebody in Bloomberg News, send the redhead line. We're doing it. Um, <laughs> uh, we at, beat at, the redhead. <laughs> we beat the redhead. This is let, what let happens me just in real do time. The, yeah, go ahead. Let me do the math for you. So at $48 a share at a fully, fully diluted basis, approximately, including restricted stock and options, that's a valuation just above $9 billion. And now it's climbing higher to 49. And, you know, Bailey made really interesting points that we go back to Astera Labs 24 hours ago. It's been a really interesting condensed 24-hour IPO window where investors mm -hmm. are like looking at these different companies that are very different and saying, I, I do want in on this. But the tension, I, I apologize, Carol, is that no, running a company Reddit and maintaining the values of the hist historic legacy platform Reddit to the, the mind of the user base, they are slightly incongruous ideas, competing ideas. That's why I wonder like, whether that conflict is gonna create some troubles going forward. Yeah, and, and, and on that point, Ed, uh, when we think about companies that control uh, advertising in the social media space, or just advertising online in general, we think of uh, Google's Alphabet, or Alphabet's Google rather, we think of meta platforms and Facebook and Instagram. Increasingly, we're starting to talk about Amazon, not necessarily yes. in there right now, but grow growing is TikTok, that's certainly becoming huge. Uh, and then also Snap, and, and there's been, you know, it's a kind of a tale of two different types of, of media, of social media companies out there. Snap being one of those types, down, what, at this point, you know, double digits so far this year. Um, how does Reddit fit in? How does Reddit compete with who's out there? Well, because of the moderation factor. So the content on Reddit is moderated by its community. The moderators that moderate the forums are not paid. They have to have long-standing profile on the platform. But the point is on risk, right? So the risk that TikTok, Instagram Reels in particular, X are all carrying in this year of all years in a presidential election cycle is the dissemination of, yeah. of inaccurate and fake information. And Reddit would argue that the quality of the discussion on, on their forum is appealing to advertisers because the advertisements are not placed alongside things that might be misinformation, something like that. Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting. Uh, I, I think, Bailey, Ed's comment makes me think of something that's like, it's more akin to a Wikipedia with the mm -hmm. content moderation than it is to, you know, some of these other platforms that we talk about each and every day. No, definitely. And you use it for home improvement stuff. Yeah. I use it to help try to plan my honeymoon. Um, but when you look at this debut, right now it's up 55%, trading north of now $53. Uh, this is coming with about seven and a half million shares trading, they sold 22 million. So this is a very active open, and this mm -hmm. is a closely watched deal. The thing that's going to be interesting with this uh, stock continuing to move higher is what kind of follow through do we see? And that really goes back to the whole thing that kind of Ed made the point of valuation. They pitched this trying to be valued like meta. Right, right. now, their valuation on a forward price to sales is higher than Meta, and Would, Meta is the gold standard. 